Hello. I'm going to show you how to make one of these little dragonflies. Um, as you can see, it's got its wings and its little body. And then there's a little loop on the back, different size loops. You can choose whatever size you want to do, uh, depending on what you want to attach your dragonfly to. So the tools and materials I'm going to use to make the dragonfly, I'm going to use some size 10 or size 12 beading needles. I'm going to use some green wildfire thread in this case because I'm going to use the um, the turquoise green beads so the green wildfire thread works beautifully with that you could also use fire line a uh, six pound fire line would be perfect or any of the wildfire threads I'm also going to use a thread zapper but that's optional if you don't have a thread zapper you can just use a pair of scissors okay I'm also going to use the kits these are the kit codes okay so with the Cognac Amber, you've got UHXC28. With the Lemon Amber, you've got IZXC92. And then with the um, Cherry Amber, you've got MCXC03. Okay, so let me show you what's in a kit. So you've got two colors of your size 11 Mayuki seed beads and you've got a little pack of amber here so in your pack of amber you have your four wings okay and you have a drop bead these uh, the wings are drilled across the point at the top you've got a drop bead that sits at the end of the tail and then you've got three four millimeter rounds for the body okay so I'm going to thread my needle and then I will show you how to make one of the dragonflies. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bezel the wings. Okay, now you can see here I've already done three of them. Okay, so you will we will bezel two of them and then join them together like so. Uh, I still have to do the last one, which is that one there. Okay, and I'm going to do the colors opposite to this one because the turquoise shows up a little bit better. Um, so you can see I've used mostly the purple in that one and I'm going to use mostly the turquoise in this one here okay so I've threaded my needle uh, you don't need a lot of thread for one of the wings I've threaded about uh, two feet of thread okay and you don't need to stop a bead on there okay so to start what we're going to do is we're going to pick up nine of our seed beads just move these out of the way a little bit Right, so we're going to pick up nine seed beads, starting with the main color that you want to use for your wing. So in this case, that's the, that's the turquoise. And I'm going to alternate. So I'm going to pick up one turquoise, one purple, until I have nine beads. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, pull those down to your thread. I'm going to pick up the same again. So you'll have two turquoise next to each other, because I'm going to pick up the same nine beads again. So starting again with the turquoise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Starting and finishing with the turquoise. Bring those down. So now I have 18 beads on here, starting and finishing with the turquoise, and I've got my two turquoise beads there in the middle. Okay, bring them down to the end of your thread. And go through all of those beads again in a circle. Okay, you don't need to leave too much of a tail. All you're going to do with the tail thread is just weave it in a little bit um, before you cut it off. So just leave uh, maybe four inches that you can just thread onto a needle and weave into your work. Okay, now you're going to tie these two threads, the tail thread and the working thread, you're going to tie them into a double knot. To secure them into a circle just make sure that your second knot sits on top of the first one and not between a different set of beads different pair of beads so your knot should be sitting between your two turquoise beads there the first one and the last one that you picked up okay so now what we're going to do hold on to the tail thread because that makes it much easier to hold we're going to go through the one turquoise bead that is right next to the knot Okay. Now at this point, don't pull too tight because you don't want to pull the knot into the bead because then your needle will get stuck and you won't be able to go through it the next time. So just 
pull your thread through but don't pull the knot through. So now we're going to do a little bit of peyote stitching. Okay, so we're going to pick up a turquoise bead. We're going to skip over the purple in our circle and go through the next turquoise bead. Pick up a turquoise over the purple and through the next turquoise again. Pick up a turquoise through the next turquoise bead. Pick up a turquoise again and go through the next turquoise. Now here I've reached the pair of turquoise bead beads that we had next to each other. Okay, and I'm coming out of the first of that pair of turquoises. So here I'm going to pick up two purple beads. Okay, and then I'm going to go through the very next bead, which is the other turquoise. Okay, so I'm not skipping over any beads here. I'm going through the very next one, which is the second turquoise. Okay, so you can just jiggle the two purples a little bit so they sit nicely next to each other like that. Okay, now we're going to carry on with peyote again. So pick up a turquoise, skip over the next purple through the next turquoise bead. Pick up a turquoise through the next turquoise again. Another turquoise through the next turquoise. Another turquoise through the next turquoise. Now we've reached the other end where we've got the two turquoise beads next to each other again. Okay. And I'm coming out of the first one here. So now I'm going to pick up two purples again. And I'm going to go through the second turquoise in that pair. Okay. Plus this first turquoise here, which is sticking up, is the first one that we added in this round. So I'm going to go through that second turquoise bead in the in the base circle. And I'm going to step up through that first turquoise bead that we added in this round. You can do this in two steps. If you can't do it all in one go, that's fine, but I'm going to do the two of them at the same time. So I'm going through the second turquoise in this pair and the first one that I added in this round. Okay, so there's my two new purple beads sitting there on the end. Okay, so for the next round I'm going to pay a stitch again. So pick up a turquoise, go through the next turquoise that is sticking out another turquoise through the next turquoise and you'll see I'm pulling my tension tight enough that I can't really see any thread you want your tension to be quite tight here uh, and I will show you why in a second okay pick up another turquoise now when I get to the end I need to go through the first of those two purples that are next to each other okay so now I'm coming out of the first purple in this pair of purples that I have on the end so I'm going to pick up two purple beads again and I'm going to go into the second purple bead. Okay, so now I've got another two purples sitting on top of the first two. Now I'm carrying on with the turquoise again. So pick up a turquoise through the first turquoise, which is sticking out. Turquoise again through the next turquoise. Turquoise again through the next turquoise. And again again until I get to the other end again where I have the two purples so again I'm going to go through the first purple bead right I put my thread tight okay so I'm not showing any thread in between so now I'm coming out of the first purple bead I'm going to pick up two purple beads and I'm going to go through the second purple okay so now I've added another two purple beads onto the end there okay now this round isn't quite finished yet because I need to add another turquoise here. So I'm picking up a turquoise. Now you'll see this turquoise bead here is from the, the current round that we're doing. This one just before it is the one that would have been the next one sticking out in the previous round. That's the one we need to go through here. So ignore that one, which is the new bead. So can you see I'm skipping over the one turquoise and I'm going into the turquoise to put a turquoise bead in this little gap here. Okay. This will be the last bead in this round. So I also need to step up. So now I'm looking at that next bead, which is sticking out, which is the first bead in this round that I'm doing now. So I'm stepping up through those two turquoise beads there. Okay. 
and then I'm pulling my thread tight and you'll see once you pull your thread tight that it starts to cup a little bit it starts to become a little bit sort of 3D shaped it's not quite flat anymore because we're working on the back of our wing at the moment so that hole in the middle is going to be this hole here which is going to let the light through your amber okay so you can see we need to make sort of a cup shape for your amber to sit in okay so now we're going to do another round in the same way so we're going to pick up a turquoise go through the next turquoise bead that is sticking out pick up a turquoise and every time you add a bead just make sure that you pull your tension quite tight can you see how the sides are starting to turn up through the next tur turquoise so now I'm getting to the end where I have the purples so now I need to go through the first of this pair of purples which are sitting on the top there okay so now I'm coming out of a purple so now I'm going to pick up two purple beads and I'm going into the second purple bead okay and then I'm carrying on again with the turquoise on the other side. So into the first turquoise. Okay, and then skip over the next one into the next one that is sticking out. And into the one after that. So I'm adding all turquoise beads down the side here again. Turquoise until I get to the end again where I have the purples. So I'm picking up my last turquoise bead and I'm going through the first purple bead in that pair at the top. Okay, so now I'm coming out of a purple, so I'm picking up two purples again and I'm going through the next purple bead. So I've put my two purples onto the end there. Okay, then I'm carrying on this round, so a turquoise again. Okay, and then another turquoise. Now this is the end of this round so I'm, I need to skip over th that one turquoise which is a, an in bead I suppose into this one here which is the last one in the previous round that is sticking out and also into this one which will be the first bead in my current round so I'm skipping over one and then I'm going through the next two like that to step up okay so put in my last turquoise pull your thread tight again so that shape it a little bit with your finger so that it starts to turn into a little cup shape like that okay then I'm going to do one more round okay so I'm picking up turquoise again same as before so just peyote stitching with turquoise all the way along the side just put this out of the way here Okay, until I get to the purple and then I'm going through the first purple again okay so now I'm picking up two purple beads on the end through the next purple and then turquoise again into the very first turquoise then another turquoise into the next one that is sticking up then the next one that's sticking up until you get to the other end again okay and then again go through the first purple okay then I'm going to pick up two purples going through the second purple okay and then a turquoise again through the first turquoise then a turquoise again through the next one that's sticking out and now I've come to the end of this round again so I'm picking up my last turquoise I'm skipping over that one that is in the very previous round and then I'm going through the next two to step up okay so I'm skipping over one and going through the next two to step up okay again pull your thread tight so now we're starting to get a really nice little cup shape here okay so now this is where things change a little bit so you'll see when you get to this point you'll have four pairs of purple beads on each end so one two three four 
and one, two, three, four. That's what you should have if you've done it correctly up to this point. Okay. Now for the next round, we're going to carry on with the turquoise. So we're going to pick up a turquoise as before. We're going to go through the next one that's sticking out. Another turquoise through the next turquoise. Another turquoise through the next turquoise. Now this is where it changes because instead of picking up another turquoise here, I'm now going to pick up a purple. Okay, and then I'm going to go through the first of the two purples on the end. Right, so now I've put a purple bead here instead of a turquoise like I've been doing up until now. Okay, and now also instead of picking up two more purples, I'm going to pick up one purple and I'm going to go through the next purple in that pair. Okay, this single little purple on the end here is going to create this little point at the end of my wing. So that one there. Okay. Then I'm going to pick up a purple again. And then I'm going to go through the first turquoise bead on the other side. Okay, now I'm going to carry on with the turquoises. So turquoise through the next one that's sticking out. Another turquoise into the next one. Turquoise. Keep going until you get to the other end. Well, until you get to the last turquoise that you're going through. So that would be this one here. Okay. And now, just like on the other end, I'm going to pick up a purple instead of a turquoise and then go through the first purple. Now, on this end, I don't want to point, I want this end to be kind of flat here because that end is going to be this end here which is what's going to be joined to the body of your dragonfly so I don't want that to be too pointy so I'm not going to add a single bead on the end here I'm not going to add anything at all I'm just going to go through straight through the next purple that's next to this one that I'm coming out of okay and then I'm going to add my second purple in there and then I'm going to carry on with the turquoise Keep pulling your thread nice and tight. Carry on with the turquoise until you get to the step up. Okay, so this next one is going to be the last one. So I skip over one and then I go through two to step up. Okay, so there's my little sort of cup shape that my amber is going to sit inside. Okay, now I'm going to switch to purples. Okay because I want this little detail on the front here to have the purples, okay? So now I'm going to peyote again, so I'm going to pick up a purple this time, go through the next green that is sticking out, or the next turquoise, pick up a purple again, through the next turquoise, purple again, and then I'm going to go through this purple here, which was that funny one that we added in the previous round that should have been turquoise, but actually we changed it to a purple, so that's a purple. We'll go through that one there. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this little um, cup shape in half, like that. Okay, so I'm coming out of this purple in the previous uh, round. I'm going to jump all the way across to this little purple here on the other side. Okay, so this is going to close in the end of my little cup shape. Now pull your thread really tight so that these two bees here come nice and close to each other. Okay, then carry on with the purples. So pick up a purple, go through the next turquoise that's sticking out. Then a purple again in the next turquoise. Keep going with purples until you get to the other end. Okay, so that's the last turquoise. Okay, and I'm picking up a purple again, and I'm going through that first purple there, so that's the next bead that's sticking out. Okay, and then same as on the other side, I'm just going to, I'm not picking up any beads here, I'm just going straight across to the purple that's sticking out on the other side. And again, this is going to pull in the other end of my little cup shape. Okay, so now I'm going to carry on with the purples, but I'm only going to add two of them. So I'm going to add the first one through the next turquoise. Add another purple and through the next turquoise. Okay, and then we'll stop here for a minute.
because now what I want to do is I want to add in my amber okay so I'm going to take my amber wing uh, bead now this is the pointy end of my cup shape okay that's going to be the pointy end of my wing okay but the hole in my bead is on the pointy end there which is the point that I want towards the body so I'm actually going to put it in the other way to how you might want to put it in so I'm not going to put the point of my amber towards the point of my beading I'm going to put it the other way okay so the rounded end of my uh, wing amber is towards the pointed end of my beading and the pointy end is the side which is the side that's going to be attached to the body okay so just hold it there in place then you're going to find the hole in the amber and you're going to go through that okay so this is going to hold your amber in place okay so now if you remember we only went added two purples here so we went through two turquoise beads in this round okay so now you want to find you want to turn it to the side and you want to find the second turquoise bead starting from this end so you want the, the same bead that you're coming out of on that side you want to find that bead here which is the second one starting from the right so that's the uppermost turquoise there and then the second one is this one here so you want to go through that second turquoise bead to secure your amber in place okay and then I'm going to go back again back through my amber again okay just make sure your thread is sitting on either side of that turquoise bead that your thread is coming out of so that's holding my amber in place and then that's the same turquoise bead that we were coming out of before we went through the amber you want to go through that same one again in the direction that we're traveling so from right to left you want to go through that turquoise bead again so essentially you want to carry on as if you were just carrying on with your peyote stitching because that's exactly what we're going to do so we're going to carry on now pick up another purple go through the next turquoise that's sticking up and then another purple and then this is the last purple so we're stepping up through the turquoise and the first purple that we added okay so now I'm going through those two beads there okay so now I've got almost all of my beads for the wing but it's still kind of cupping a little bit or opening a little bit so I just want to tighten that up so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another round but I'm not going to add any beads well I'm going to add one bead but on most stitches I'm not going to add a bead so I'm just going to go through go back to the turquoise that's next to the bead I'm coming out of go through that and through the next purple so basically I'm just going through these beads without adding anything so through the next turquoise and through the next purple okay so this is the only place where I'm going to add a bead so now I'm at the pointy end this is the point okay and now I want to do the same as I did before so I want to jump across to the other side to the purple that's opposite on the other side okay so I'm skipping all these purples on the other end I'm coming out of this purple here okay which is the last peyote purple and I want to jump across to the other side but because my amber is rounded at the top this there's quite a big gap here so I'm going to just pick up one purple and I'm going to jump across to this first peyote stitch purple on the other side so the first one that is sticking up I'm skipping out all of these purples on the end here and I'm just jumping straight across so when you pull it tight you can see it closes in your beading a little bit tighter over the amber to hold it to hold this end in place as well because remember on the other end we went through it through the hole there's no hole in the end, so you want to hold that in quite tight then I'm going to carry on again without adding more beads so just go through your existing beads to tighten up the edge a little bit okay so just go through the next turquoise and then the next purple and then the next turquoise and the next purple each time until you get over to the other end again through the turquoise you can go through one bead at a time if you can't get through the two at once so I'm just going through the turquoise there then through the next purple and then the turquoise again so the same on this end when you get to the last purple peyote bead come out of the purple okay and again you want to jump across to the other end but this side your your amber bead is quite pointy so you don't need to add anything in here 
you're just going to come out of this last peyote, you're coming from this side, so the last peyote purple bead is what you're coming out of, and you want to jump across to the other side to this purple, which is the first one that is sticking up. Okay, so you're ignoring all of these purples on the end, and you're just jumping across to that purple there that is sticking out on that side. And again, that's going to close up the end of your beading like that. Okay? And then you just do a couple more stitches as you did before, so without adding anything, just to finish tightening, tightening it up. It's hard to tell where you started the row here because obviously there's no step up because you didn't add any more beads. So just maybe do three stitches just to make sure that you've gone all the way around. Okay? And then you want to finish off this thread. So you're going to turn back again. And then turn back the other way again. And then come back through this bead that, that you went through previously just to, to sort of create a few loops to tighten up this thread to secure it properly so it doesn't come undone. So go through the next one and do another back and forth. So go back through the bead that's next to it. And then come back through this one here again. Okay, so now essentially that's your wing finished. Now you're going to do two of these where you're going to finish off your thread now. So you finished off your thread, you can cut this thread off. Okay, and then take your tail thread, thread it on a needle, go through a couple of beads, and then you can cut your tail thread off as well. So you'll end up with this here. Okay, so you're going to do that for two of your petals. Okay, for the other two, you can finish off the tail thread again. But you're not going to cut off the working thread. So just leave your uh, leave your thread on like that. Thread on your tail thread. I'll show you quickly. So keep your working thread. Thread the tail thread into your needle. Just see where your thread is coming out of. It's coming out of this turquoise. So I'm just going to go through that turquoise next to it. And then through a couple more beads. You don't need to do any back and forth here. Because remember we started with a knot. So it's already quite secure. You just don't want to cut it right by the knot. And then use your thread zapper to take off the tail thread. Okay. So for two of them you're going to keep the working thread. For the other two you can cut off the working thread. Okay. And then I'll come back and show you how to join those two together. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to join two of the wings to each other. So take one of your wings that has your working thread on it and put the needle on the thread, okay? And then take one of the other wings, which has got no threads on it, right? Now you want to see where your thread is coming out of your wing. You want it to be coming out kind of two or three beads from this end here. So I'm actually going to go through another bead just to bring it a little bit closer because you only want to join together sort of the last one third of your wings. You don't want to join it up too high because then it's going to sit like that. Okay, so you just want to join together the two sort of uh, end bits of your wing. Okay, so take your two wings, make sure you've got them both facing the same way. So I've got the single bead with the point here and the single bead here. Okay, and I've got two beads on the end there and two beads on the end there. Okay, and then just put them next to each other and you, you'll see where your thread is coming out of on this wing. So find the bead that is closest to that where your thread is coming out of on the other wing. And go through that bead. You don't need to be too particular about which bead you're going through. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as the one I'm going through because it's quite an organic shape. So if it sits a little bit differently to mine, it doesn't matter really. Okay. So once you've gone through that bead, then you want to find the bead that kind of corresponds to it on the other wing again. And then it's just a case of going back and forth, almost stitching them to each other. Okay. Until you get all the way down to the point. So just the only thing you want to make sure of is that your thread isn't caught around your beadwork. You want to make sure you only go through one bead at a time. Okay, so just make sure your thread sits nicely in between your two wings there and just keep stitching until you get right up to the point here where you're ultimately coming out of one of the beads in the end section. So now remember we had two beads on the end of each wing, so that means we've got four beads here at the end, four purple beads. Now my thread is coming out of one of the purple beads in, on the inside, so one of the inner beads. I need my thread to be coming out of one of the outer beads, but going inwards to the middle. 
So I'm going to go through this outer purple bead next to where my thread is coming out of at the moment. Okay, make sure you pull your thread tight so your wings stay together. And now I want to turn around so that my thread is going through that same bead but in the other direction. Okay, so I'm going to go through one of the purple beads next to where I'm coming out of. Okay, then I can turn around through the bead that's next to it, which is another purple. So I can turn around that way and then come back through that corner bead again. So one of the side beads in the fall that you've got on the end here. Okay, so that's where I want my thread to be coming out of so that I can attach this to the body. Okay, so now we're going to put that aside once you've made both of your wings. So you've got two little wings like that. Leave that thread on because that's the thread you're going to use to attach it to the body. Okay, and now we're going to make the body section. Okay, so next we're going to make the body. So to make the body, I've threaded my needle with a slightly longer piece of thread, uh, about four feet for the body, okay? You don't need to stop a bead again. And we're gonna start here at the bottom end and we're gonna work our way up using a tubular herringbone stitch to make the body up to this section. And then we're gonna carry on with herringbone stitch to make the rest of the body, okay? So to get started, we're gonna pick up four of our turquoise beads. Now I'm making the body out of the turquoise this time because I've switched the colors around um, on the wings as well, okay? So I'm gonna pick up four of my turquoise beads, okay? I'm gonna bring them down to the end of my thread, but I'm going to leave a tail about 10 inches long because we're going to use that tail thread to add the drop bead at the end of the, of the body, okay? After we've finished making the rest of it, okay? So I brought my four beads down to nearly the end of my thread and then I'm going to go through all four of them again. Okay, and then I'm going to tie my two threads into a double knot to secure those four beads into a circle. Just make sure your, four, uh, your, your second knot sits on top of your first knot like that. Okay, now we're going to go through two beads You'll see they sort of sit next to each other in two columns of two beads, okay? So go through one of those columns of beads, so go through two beads, just so that we get away from the knot, okay? Now we're going to pick up two beads again, okay? And then we're going to go around in a circle, so my thread is coming out the top of these two beads, I'm going to go into the bottom of those two beads, okay? So when you pull your thread, these two new beads are going to sit nicely alongside those existing beads there and then I'm going to come down the two new beads that I've just added okay so I've got three columns of two beads now then I'm going to do the same again so pick up two more turquoise beads and I'm going to come round in a circle come down through these two beads from the top down so now I've got four columns of two beads next to each other and then I'm going to go up these last two beads that I've just added. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to join those two ends together. So I want to go around in a circle. So my thread is coming out of the top of these two beads here. So I'm going to come down these two beads, the first two that I had. Okay, I'm not going to pull the thread tight just yet so you can see how the, the circle comes around. Okay, so I've come down those two and then I'm going to go up the last two beads that are added. Okay? Just like that. Okay, so when you pull your thread tight, you'll see the two ends come together. And then you've got four pairs of beads sitting like that, almost like little barrels sitting next to each other. Okay? So now we're going to carry on with the herringbone stitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up two more turquoise beads, okay, now you'll see that my thread is coming out of the top of this bead here, so I'm going to go down the bead that's next to it, but only down one bead, I'm not going down both beads this time, I'm just going down one of those two beads, okay, like that, and then I'm going to turn my work slightly, because if you have a look at it from the side, you see the two little columns in the front have got now three beads in each column. 
If I look at the other side, those two columns have only got two. So I want to put another two beads on top there. Okay, so I'm going to turn my work this way. And I'm going to go up the bead that's next to the one that I'm coming out of at the moment. Okay, so I'm going up that one bead, not two beads, just the one. Okay, then I'm going to turn it a little bit more because now I want to put my two beads on top of these two columns. So I'm picking up two beads. I'm coming down the bead that's next to the one my thread is coming out of at the moment. Okay, and you'll see that will put another two beads on top of my little stack there just like that so now all around I've got columns of three beads okay so now I need to step up I've finished this round so I'm going to go again into the bead that's next to the one I'm coming out of but this time I need to step up because I've got all my beads on all of the columns now so I'm going up the bead that's next to it and up the bead that's on top of that so I'm going up two beads here okay so I'm stepping up there okay and then I'm going to repeat the same thing again. So I want to put two beads on top of these two columns. So pick up two turquoise beads. Come down the bead that's next to the one that I'm coming out of. Okay, just make sure those two new beads sit nicely next to each other like that. Okay, then turn my, bead, my work slightly and go up the next bead next to where I'm coming out of. Okay, turn it a little bit more. And then pick up two beads again and come down the one next to it, next to where I'm coming out of, okay? So I've now added the next four beads in this round. So you'll see all of my columns now have got four beads all around, okay? And then again, I'm stepping up, so my thread is coming out of this bead downwards. So I want to go up the bead that's next to it and the one on top for my step up. So every time we step up, we're going up two beads. The rest of the time, we're always only going through one bead. Okay, and then you carry on like that. So I'll do another one. So pick up two turquoise, go down the bead that is next to where you're coming out of. Okay, turn, go up the next bead. Turn again. Pick up two more beads and then come down the one that's next to where you're coming out of. So that's your round finished again. So now you need to step up. So go up the bead that's next to it and up the one above it. Okay? So now I've got five beads in each column. Okay? And you're going to carry on like that. I'll show you one more quickly. So go down the next bead along, up the one next to that, up two again, down the next one, up the next one, and up the bead on top of it to step up. Okay, so now if you look at it all around, I've got six beads in each of my little stacks there. Okay, now I'm going to carry on like that until I have 13 beads in each of my stacks. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to do another seven rows, okay? So that I have 13 that will make this section here. Okay, and we'll carry on from there. Okay, so now I've done my 13 rows. Okay, so I've got 13 beads in each of these columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, all around. So that's this tail section done there. Okay, so now we're going to do the rest of the body. We're going to switch to two bead herringbone. Okay, so we're going to have only, we're essentially doing one side of what we've been doing up to now. This is four beads around. Now we're just going to do the two beads on one side. And we're going to go all the way up and then back down the other side. So we're going to make one long section, which we're then going to turn back and attach here at the bottom. Okay. So for that, we need to do 35 rows, okay? Now, the easiest way to make sure you have the right number of rows is to count out 70 beads, okay? Because we've got two beads in each row and we're doing 35 rows, so you need 70 beads, okay? And then when you know, you know that when you've used up your 70 beads, then you've got to the end, okay? 
So to switch to our two bead herringbone, so my thread is coming out of this bead here on that side as I've been working on my four bead herringbone there, okay? And just the same as I did before, I'm going to pick up two of my turquoise beads, okay? And I'm gonna go back down the bead that is alongside where my thread is coming out of, just like I've been doing until now, okay? But now what I'm gonna do is instead of turning and going onto the back, I'm only going to grow this front section, okay? I'm going to forget about the back for now, and I'm just going to grow this front section. Okay, so now I want to add the next two beads on top here. So how do I do that? I'm going to go up the bead that's on the left-hand side of where my thread is coming out of. Okay, so this bead here. And straight away I'm stepping up because I've only got the two beads in each row. So I've got those two beads there. So I'm going to go up the two beads on the left-hand side here. Okay, like that. And now I've essentially stepped up to the next row. Okay, so again I'm just going to pick up two beads. I'm going to come down the bead that is on the right hand side. Okay, and then I'm going to go up the two beads on the left. So I'm always going down one bead and up two beads. Okay, and the same again. So pick up two beads come down this bead on the right hand side, just the one. Okay, and then go up two beads on the left hand side. Okay, now we're going to carry on like that until we've used up all 70 of our beads that we counted out here. Okay, so I'm quickly going to do that. Okay, so now as you can see, I've done my 35 rows, okay, so I've got my 35 pairs of beads going along there, and I've got my 13 sets in the beginning section here. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to fold this over and attach it to the wider section, okay? So just turn it back, make sure you don't have a twist in it so it's nice and straight, okay? So now my thread is coming out of the leftmost bead here, so I want to go into the left bead on the lower section and I'm going to go through two beads because I want it to be attached really securely okay so I'm not just going to go through the one I'm not going to go through two beads there okay then I'm going to come across to the bead next to the one I'm coming out of and I'm going to go back up two beads okay plus another four beads in the in the narrower section okay so I'm going up through six beads all together like that. Okay, pull that through. Just make sure your thread isn't caught on anything. Right. So now we've got this little loop type section here. So now what we want to do is want, we want to attach it to each other at that point so we can fit one of our little body beads in here afterwards. Okay. So now what we're going to do is you want to find the bead that corresponds to the one that your thread is coming out of on the other side, okay, which is this one here. So my thread is coming out up that way, upwards. So I'm going to go down the bead on the other side, which is the same bead, if you count up from here, okay. It's the one right next to it. Just make sure your thread isn't caught, okay. And then I'm going to go back up this bead again that I was coming out of earlier. Okay, so now those two beads are joined together, but now we have to join the two beads on the other side as well. Okay, so I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to come down the bead again that's next to the one my thread is coming out of. Okay, so my thread is going that way at the moment. So I want to come back and go down the bead that's next to it. Okay. And then I'm going to turn again and I'm going to go up the corresponding bead, which you can make sure that you've got the right bead because obviously it's going to be the one next to the one, the two that are joined together on the other side. Okay. So you can just make sure you have the right bead there 
which is, let me just double check. All right, it's this bead here. So you want to go up that bead. There. Okay. So you can see my thread is coming out downwards from that bead. I want to go up through that bead and then you can turn to make sure that these two are the beads that are attached on the other side as well. Okay. So you basically want to attach those four beads all to each other here. Okay. And then come back down again, this bead that you were coming out of before. Okay. Right. So you can see now I've attached the two sides together at this point in the front and in the back which leaves this little gap in between there which is where we're going to put in our four millimeter bead a little bit later on okay now I want to carry on traveling upwards okay so now my thread is coming out downwards at the moment so I want to go across to the bead next to it so I can go upwards again so go up that next bead plus go up six more beads Okay, so here I'm going up all together seven beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven beads. Okay. When I've gone up the seven beads, I'm going to do the same thing as I've done here to attach beads to each other, which are next to each other. Okay. So I want to find the bead that corresponds to that bead. You can count up on the other side as well. So it should be after the join, the sixth bead. So on this side, I've got one, two, three, four, five. The sixth bead is what I'm coming out of. So on the other side, one, two, three, four, five. This will be the sixth bead here. Okay. So I'm going to go down that sixth bead because those two beads are going to sit next to each other and I want to attach them to each other there. Okay. And then I want to go up the bead that I was coming out of before plus I'm going to go up to the next one because I want to attach three sets of beads to each other here that's going to make I will show you which section it makes on the dragonfly okay so I've attached those two beads to each other I also want to attach the next two and the next two after that okay so if I show you the dragonfly can you see here I've got I've already attached those two lower down there and now I'm working on these ones here so I want to attach three sets of beads to each other to make this little body section here okay so I've attached two of the beads to each other and I've gone up to the next bead so again I'm going to go down the other side in the corresponding bead okay and then back up again in the same bead that I was coming out of earlier okay plus up another bead after that so that I can do the third one as well so moving along another bead okay right and then again I'm jumping across to the bead on the other side which corresponds to that one that I'm coming out of and again I'm coming downwards and then I'm going up again just that one bead now because this is the last one I want to attach so I've essentially stitched together three pairs of beads next to each other okay by doing loops of threads okay and again I want to do the same thing on the other side okay so I want to turn my work I want to go down the bead that's next to the one I'm coming out of so that I can move across to the other side of the work okay turn it again okay and then you've got this bead here which is the bead that corresponds to being next to that one I'm coming out of so now again I'm going up in the other direction in that bead okay then come down this one again that I was coming out of earlier on the other side and down the next one because again I want to attach three beads on this side as well okay then go up the one next to it 
back down this one that I was coming out of earlier and the next one so I can do the third set okay and then up this one on this side and then back down that one that I was coming out of earlier okay so now if I just open it up you can see can you see those three beads there are attached to each other so you've got a little gap there and you've got a little gap there and then you've got three beads attached to each other and if I turn it over on the other side you've got three beads attached to each other again there okay right so now we want to move a little bit further up again so my thread is coming out of that bead going downwards I want to go into the bead next to it going up in the other direction okay so just go through the three beads for now that are joined okay so now I want to put some little eyes on my dragonfly so I've got some eyes there okay so if you count how many beads you've got here you've got left from after your join so this is where my last join is I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven beads okay so the middle one is the sixth bead here okay so I want to go two before that so I want to go to this bead here which is the one two three is the fourth bead up so I'm going to go up four beads okay then I'll pick up a purple okay and then I'm going to go across to the other side and come down the bead that is next to that one that I'm coming out of at the moment so that's added on a little eye there and then I'm going to go up again now if I go through the next three beads Right. Now I'm coming out of this bead, which is the very middle bead at the top of my little circle of beads. Okay, so I've gone back through the one I was coming out of plus through two. Then I'm going to go through another one. So I can add my little eyeball in the same position as I am on this side. So pick up another, another bead. Okay, go back up the next or the bead alongside the one that I'm coming out of okay so now you can see I've added my two little eyeballs and then I'm going to come down this side here back again okay so now what we want to do is we want to add in the beads for the body okay that's going to be our next step So to add the beads for the body, your thread should now be coming out just next to one of the eyeballs there. Okay, so you want to carry on coming downwards. My thread is going down this way now on that side. So I want to carry on, go through another two beads. Okay, right. So I'm kind of in the middle of this little loop section here where I want to put in one of the body beads. So now I'm going to pick up one of my 4mm round amber beads. Okay. And now what I want to do essentially is one, I want to cross over to the bead on the other side that corresponds to that bead. But I don't want to do it on the front here. I want to do it at the back. Okay. If I went across straight across to this one on the front here, then the body bead... This little bead is going to stick up from the plane it's not going to be flat in my work um, which is fine if you wanted to do it like that that would be a little bit of a different look but as you can see here I want it to be kind of um, flush in with the body okay so to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my needle through the loop just through the middle of all the work okay I'm not going through a bead here just went through that hole in the middle and then on the other side, I want to find the corresponding bead. So it's the second bead down from the eyeball, but diagonally opposite. So if I turn it over here, okay, the second bead down from the eyeball is going to be this one here. Okay, so I want to go into that one from the top to the bottom because I want to carry on coming down afterwards. Okay, so when I pull that tight, you will see that the little 4mm bead it's going to pop right inside that loop so you pull your thread tight you can see now it's sitting nice and flush inside the beads 
Okay, so now I'm going to carry on in this row of beads where my thread is coming out of, and I want to get to the next hole that I've made that I've left here in my beading, and I want to get to the middle of that section. Okay, so I want to can you see I've got one, two, three, four, five beads here that are not joined to each other. Okay, so I want to get to the third one, the middle one of those. So keep going through, I will count how many beads I need to go through here. So I need to go through three. I can't do them all in one step, so we'll have to do them in sections. Oh, just make sure your thread doesn't knot. Okay, so I've gone through three. Then I'm going through another one, two, three, four, another five beads. Okay? So now I'm coming out of the middle bead in this little um, hole section where there's a hole in my beading, which is where my next four millimeter bead is going to go. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing as, as I did before. So I'm going to pick up a four millimeter bead. Okay. And again, I want to go through the bead on this side, but at the back again which corresponds to that one so across here and behind it okay and again the easiest way to do that is to take your needle through the hole in the middle so not through any bead just through the big hole in the middle there okay and then turn it over and then find that corresponding bead which is the middle one here go through that one from the top to the bottom again because again we want to carry on traveling to this next section so if you pull that through, just make sure again that your thread is not tangled on anything. You'll see that you pull your little four millimeter right into the body again. Okay, so that's my next one I added in there. Oh, I've got my thread caught on something. Just make sure it's not caught and it sits right inside there like that okay so again you want to carry on traveling along just make sure it's nice and tight again until you get to the middle bead in this next section because here again you should have five beads that are not joined to the other side so I've got one two three four five okay so again I'm going to go through three beads first okay then to get to the middle one I'm going to go through another three okay so I've gone through six beads to get to the next section and then again I'm going to pick up my last four millimeter bead okay and then again I want to do the same thing again so I want to go through the corresponding bead but diagonally opposite so on the side and at the back so again put your needle through the gap in the middle so that your thread is on the other side okay and then find that middle bead here and go down towards the tail end through there and again when you pull that tight you're going to pull that four millimeter right into position inside of the body like that okay now at this point you can finish off this thread, you don't need it anymore because you're going to use the tail thread to add the drop bead at the bottom. Okay, so just go through, keep going through until you get to the the four bead herringbone section because it's easier to end off your thread there. So just keep going through and then do a few back and forths. So go back up the next bead along. And then go down this bead again, go down two beads, go up one again, and then go down again, just to make sure that your thread, I've gone through two beads again, just to make sure that your thread is really nice and secure. I've got a little knot in my thread here. And don't worry too much about that because it goes through the bead quite easily. You can do another one just for good measure. Okay, then this thread 
you know, is really nice and secure and you can cut it off. Okay, or you can use your thread zapper to take away this thread here. Okay, so in the next step, we're going to add the little drop bead for the tail. Okay, so to add the drop bead at the bottom, I've put my needle on the tail thread. Remember, remember we left about a 10 inch uh, tail when we started. Okay, so I put my needle back on there. And now I want to add my drop bead. Now the way I want to add my drop bead, you've got the hole going through that way. Okay, so the way I want to put it on, if you have a look here, you can see I've got the hole going that way. So on the same plane as you've got the wings. Okay, or the flat section of the body. I don't want to add it this way up because then I'm going to see the hole and I'm going to see all the threads that go through it. So those threads should be on the side there. Okay, so you don't see them from the front. Okay, so I'm going to position my bead like that. Now at the moment my thread is coming out of um, the knot here. So just to get away from the knot, just go up one of the beads next to the knot. Okay, and come back out again through a bead next to it. So now my thread is actually coming out of a bead instead of a knot. Okay, and then as I was saying earlier, so I want this hole in my in my drop bead to go that way. I don't want it to stand up this way. Okay, so I'm going to go through that bead like that, and then I'm going to come down the bead that's next to it. So not the one behind the one that's next to it here. Okay. So just don't, you don't have to pull it too tight at this point because your bead is going to sort of wiggle about a little bit at this point. So now I'm going to go across to the bead that's behind. I'm going to come up there. Okay. Right. And then I'm going to go through the amber bead again. Okay, so you'll see now it's starting to position itself like that, which is how we want it. Okay, and then turn it over. Okay, so I've got it on its side now. And I want to go into this bead on this top corner here, or this bottom corner rather. Okay, so I have a piece of thread attaching my amber. So when you pull all of that tight, I have a piece of thread that attaches my amber to all four of these corner beads. Okay. Now, just to secure it even tighter, you want to go through all of them and do that again. Okay, I've got my threads a little bit tangled here. Just pull that nice and tight. Okay. So I'm going to go up the bead next to the one I'm coming out of again. Okay. Go through my amber again to the other side. Again, go down one of the corner beads okay then come back up the bead that is next to it then back through the amber okay and then you can see on this side I've got two attachments now to that corner bead I've only got one attachment to this corner bead so I'm going to go down through this corner bead here just go along a few beads because now you just need to finish off this thread. Okay, so that's my little drop bead attached to the bottom of the body. Okay, and then now again you can finish off this thread the same as we did the other working thread. So go up and down two or three times through a few beads. So I'm coming down two beads now. Go back up one. Come down two again. Or you can even go three, it doesn't really matter. As long as you move along a little bit. And then back up again. And back down this one again. There's a couple more beads and then I can cut off this thread as well. Okay, so that's the body section finished there. Okay. So in the next section, we're going to attach the wings to the body. Okay. Okay, so the last thing we need to do, as I said, is attach the wings to the body. Now I've put a needle onto the thread 
that are left coming out of my pair of wings. Okay, I'm going to put that one aside for now. So, can you see we've got the four beads at the bottom end of the um, of the pair of wings here? You want to attach those four beads into this little gap here that we made with the three beads in the body. Okay, so my thread is coming out of the first of these purple beads in the section of four beads along here. Okay, so I want to attach that. I want to go through the top of these three beads. Well, actually, I'm going to go through all three of the beads. Okay, but I just want to do sort of align that way. So my thread is coming out on this side, so I want to go in this end and go down that way. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to go through, carry on downwards again, go through the fourth bead, so the, the bead on the other side of the wings. Just like that. Okay, at this point this is all quite floppy here, it's not going to hold very well. So I want to attach them to the other two beads as well on this side. Okay, so at this point I'm just going to, don't worry that your thread is coming out downwards, just go back up through those three body beads again. So these are the three that are joined to each other. Remember we joined three beads to each other in the body on this section. So now I'm going to go up those three beads that are joined to each other. Okay, you may not be able to do all three of them at once. That's okay, you can do them one at a time if it's easier that way. Okay, I've managed to go through all three. Just make sure your thread isn't caught on the tail. Okay, so you pull that tight. Okay, and then I'm going to go through this first purple bead again at the top end of the wings. Okay, so when you pull that tight, that's quite secure now and it's not flopping around. Well, once you pull it tight, it's not flopping around. It's quite sort of uh, sturdily attached to the body there. Okay, so then all you need to do is finish off the thread. Um, so just mo move up a few of the beads at the back of the wing here until you get to, because at this point it's quite difficult to get to any of the beads there to finish off your thread because they're all kind of so close together with the body. So just move up a few beads until you get you sort of a clearer section and then you can go back down a bead that's next to the one that you're coming out of and then go forwards again. So basically you need to double back on the thread and move along a couple of beads. Again, go back in the other direction through the bead next to the one that you're coming out of and then move forward again through a couple of beads. I like to do it three times just to make extra sure that my thread is nice and secure. So go through another bead, go back. If you find a bead that you can't get into because it's too tight, see if you can find the one on the other side or you can move along another bead until you find one that's got a nice one next to it that is easy to go back through. Okay, so you can finish off this thread. Go through another two beads and then use your thread zapper to take off that thread. Okay, then we're going to do the same with the other pair of wings. So take the thread that you left on those wings thread it into your needle. Okay. And then again, if you position it in next to your in next to the body of your dragonfly, right? So I'm coming out of the top corner bead from the wing, so that one there. So I want to go down the three beads in the body that are joined. Okay? So I'm coming down those three beads. Okay? And then I want to go through the other corner bead on the wings, like that. Make sure your thread isn't tangled around the wings. Okay, so you pull it tight, then it pulls the wings in close to the body. Okay, and then you want to do the same thing on the back. So turn it over. 
okay just kind of position them where they need to go and then go back the other way through the three beads on the back oh my thread is caught on the rest of the body okay so make sure your thread passes in the right spot okay to there don't put it too tight at this point because you still need to be able to get to the corner bead so now you're going through the other corner bead on the wing okay and then now you've attached those wing corner beads on this side at the at the top and further down and on the other side at the top and further down as well so pull that really nice and tight so it all kind of goes into position and then again do the same as what you did with the other wing so travel along a few beads make sure you keep that thread tight so it stays in position go down a few beads just so you can get to a section where it's easy to finish off your thread so then all you're going to do is finish off your thread on the back the same as you did on the other wing and then if you like you can add a loop of beads either in this direction or that direction depending on what you want to attach your dragonfly to and then you can just put a necklace through the loop and that's your little dragonfly finished.